How's it going everybody? Joe Linder with joesphenomenal.com and welcome to another video. Today we're going to be making a great mahi dish except we're going to keep the calorie count as low as we possibly can. That means no oils, no butters, and nothing but great flavor. We're going to season and bake the fish, we're going to blanch the asparagus, and for our side we're going to make some cauliflower mash with a little bit of mozzarella cheese in there. Sound good? Well, let's get started. Remember, we're blanching this, so we're not going to be cooking it fully. And I always like to take a little bit of my seasoning here and just take a little bit extra. In this video, we're going to be making the fish and the asparagus. We've done the mashed cauliflower and the salsa in separate videos that are each about a minute long. And we've gone ahead and linked those above. That way we can keep this video a little bit shorter and use up a little bit less of your time. But if you plan to use those with this recipe, I'd recommend you take a look at those really quick and then come back to this one. With that being said, let's get started. The first thing you want to do is preheat your oven to 350 degrees for the fish and you want to go ahead and heat up some water so you can blanch the asparagus. You're going to put a lot of salt in there. When it looks like there's too much salt, then put a little bit more in there. Don't worry, you want to blanch the vegetables in very salty water. That's going to get poured out anyway. There's a lot of ways to cook asparagus. Many people like to bake them. A lot of people like to saute them. We're going to go with the healthiest option, which would be to blanch them in salt and garlic. Remember when you pick up your asparagus from the store, the bottom section there is gonna be really hard and chewy. That's what she said. So you just wanna go ahead and take your knife, line them all up at straight, and cut that bottom section off. Once you get that water boiling, go ahead and throw in the asparagus and your garlic. Remember we're blanching this, so we're not gonna be cooking it fully. The key to cooking good vegetables is to undercook them slightly and let them cook up a little bit as they sit. Otherwise, you end up with mushy vegetables. Really, you're only cooking these for probably about a minute. After about a minute, get them off the heat. And then you're gonna to toss in a little bit of pepper to get them seasoned up. Then you just set them on a the plate and put them aside. While we're waiting for the oven to heat up, then go ahead and season the fish. So I use a little bit of lemon juice here. Just get that on your two portions here really good. Again, we're not using oil for this because we are trying to keep this as low calorie as possible. Then we've already taken our spice combination and we've mixed it up in here. Make sure that's mixed up really good. All I'm using here is some garlic powder, a little bit of salt, white pepper, and cilantro. You're gonna take your fish out of there and just kind of go ahead and dip that in there and cover that up really good. Make sure you get the ends as well. And go ahead and transfer these onto a sheet pan. And I always like to take a little bit of my seasoning here and just take a little bit extra. Just set it on top there. Why not? Once your oven is heated up, go ahead and put these guys in on the middle rack. We have our oven set to 350 degrees. You could probably go a little bit higher than that if you like. It all kind of depends on your oven and what you're comfortable with. But keep in mind that mahi is done at 137 internal temperature. For those of you that don't know, 137 is less than what a medium rare steak is. So really it's not in there very long if you've had it at higher temperature. Um, I like to keep it a little bit lower so you have a little bit more control. But if you wanna get done a little bit quicker, you can set your oven to someplace between 380 and 400 degrees and you should be fine. Just be sure not to overcook it. 
because it'll dry up fast. One eternity later. After about 10 minutes or so, go ahead and pull them out and flip them over. That's just to make sure they cook evenly. And then bring them back in the oven. Just remember that any fish that you cook that's got really low fat content will cook very quickly. Be sure to check the temperature a couple of times just to make sure you're not overcooking the fish. And once you're within a few degrees of it being done, which would be anything over maybe 134 or 135, go ahead and change your oven to broil just to try to give a little bit of a crisp to the top. A few moments later. And once you start getting a little color on the top, you can go ahead and pull them out of the oven. Let's check on those and that looks just about right. Then you go ahead and lay them out on your cutting board to rest for a few minutes. By the way, if this is your first time here and you want to learn some cool new recipes, get some kitchen tips and tricks and all sorts of other kitchen related things, then start now by subscribing to the channel and hitting the notification bell so you never miss a thing. All right, let's get this thing plated up. First thing we'll put down is the cauliflower puree. Okay, and then we have our piece of fish. Then we're gonna go ahead and prepare our asparagus. Then we're going to top with some salsa. <laughs> For this recipe, we wanted to keep everything as low calorie as possible. So as a result, we didn't use any unnecessary oils or fats. And we still managed to make a great mahi dish. Mahi is such a delicious fish. This is proof positive that it's not necessary to drown stuff in butter to make it taste great. Just a reminder that all the ingredients and measurements for this recipe are down in the description area of the video. And if you make this dish, we'd love to hear about how it came out. Also, if you have any questions or concerns or challenges with it, leave us a comment down below and we would be happy to respond. If you'd like to learn a little bit more about our company, you can check out some more of our videos or you could check us out online at joesphenomenal.com. Once again, I'm Joe and I'm so thankful that you've watched our video and hope to see you again real soon. Take it easy.